What's up guys? We are doing something a little different today. I bought this property uh, several months ago and it's got a pretty decent sized creek on it and I've always been pretty curious as to what is actually in this creek. I know we've thrown out the minnow trap and caught several minnows and creek chubs and horny heads and stuff like that but I'm really hoping that there's some sunfish in here, uh, bluegills, uh, red ear uh, or long ear or something. Uh, some kind of panfish and uh, today I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to I got my GoPro rigged up in my minnow trap here obviously I got it baited with some bread and I'm going to throw this out and I'm going to turn the GoPro on and I'm going to see what actually swims by and tries to get in there this is the creek right here behind me it's probably this is about the widest point it's probably about 10 foot across and uh, We've kind of measured it before, and it's probably roughly about three or four foot deep. So it should be big enough to hold some kind of panfish, and it kind of goes down through out through there pretty good ways. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my uh, bluegill or for my minnow trap to do its job, I'm going to do a little fishing and maybe see if I can't pull out something on rod and reel. So, all right, let's get this thing set up. Alright guys, so I got my lightweight rod here, and while we're waiting for the minnow trap to do its job, I just got some extra bread here I'm going to throw out. Usually when you throw bread in there, uh, you'll see about 100 fish flock to it, so uh, my hook is a little big, so it'll be kind of tough to catch anything, but my target is to catch some kind of panfish, so... I can already see a ton of minnows swimming around the minnow trap, so hopefully the GoPro's doing its job. Well, the bread just wasn't working there, demolishing as soon as it hit the water. So I found this little Japanese beetle. I'm going to try to put him on the hook and see if he can get anything. Field bites like crazy. There we go. A little creek jub. Pretty tiny. Got him on the Japanese beetle though. Be good fishing bait one day when we do some river fishing. I think the GoPro's been in the water for about 10 minutes now, so I can see it looks like a trap's got either a bunch on it or they actually went inside of it, so I'm going to pull this trap up and hopefully we got some go good GoPro footage here. Alright, let's pull this minnow trap up, see if we got anything. Well, looks like we got one. Turn off the GoPro. 
I'm sure it's got some pretty cool footage. I've seen the fish swarming all around it. So, all right, guys. Well, the whole idea was not to catch a ton of minnows, but to get some footage of minnows either coming in, preferably, but either in or around my trap. And I did only catch one, one little guy here. I don't even know what you call that fish. Probably a, like a mountain darter. So. We're going to put them back in the water though. We have tried other methods of trying to figure out what was in this creek. Uh, my son, he got a cast net, so he threw it in here a couple times. We're still practicing on it, trying to get it to where it will actually deploy when you throw it. But he did throw it a good a couple times and he caught a monster. Uh, I believe it was Creek Chub or Horny Head in here the other day when he was just playing around with it. That was a good toss. What? That was a good toss. Yeah. Oh, we caught a monster creek chill. Good lord. <laughs> Look at the side of that creek chub. They're big one. Put them over here in the bucket. They're definitely in here. Um, I did find me another beetle here. I'm gonna to try to catch me another one on rod and reel. I definitely don't mind using these Japanese beetles as bait. These things are destroying my grapevines. Ooh, there's a big one. It's a... Uh, Nice size one right there. That one probably ran all the small ones off. Not actually big enough to put your thumb in its mouth. That's probably about a seven, six or seven inch creek chub. That thing will, will definitely make good fishing bait uh, when we go to the river. That thing came out of them bushes. I seen it. It's like a wake coming after that bug. It's crazy. All right, guys. Well, actually, I just uh, I threw the trap back out there off camera just because usually when we come down here, we we catch a ton in the in the uh, minnow trap. So that for whatever reason we didn't catch a lot the first time. The second time. We got a basket full here. We'll throw these back here. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for this. Just kind of something different to do for the channel. Um, been actually something I've been wanting to do personally, just to, just for fun. Uh, there are several other, other sections throughout this creek that's just overgrown right now. And it looks like it's pretty good deep holes. Um, but I just, it's just so thick, you can't really get to it. So definitely that's going to be a wintertime project for me. I'm going to uh, definitely do some uh, brush clearing or, along this bank. And, you know, this hole would be perfect, too, for the, my kids. You know, they like to, they could probably swim in this and uh, just have a good time. But it's good knowing that we got some bait for the river whenever we decide to go. But Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you would, just do me a huge favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe, and uh, just stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.